Hello, AD. I'm Bryce Dallas Howard, and welcome to my New York home. Come on inside, let me show you around. We are in the living room right now. About six years ago, my husband and I and my children were moving to New York and we knew that we wanted to live in this area. And so we kept driving around and my husband kept pointing at this house. And he kept saying, oh, I wish that house was for sale. Just a few days later, someone called us and said, we saw that you were visiting houses in the area. There's a house that's not on the market yet. We wanted to see if you would be interested. And it was this house. This house was built in 1937. But what I love about it is that it's actually a replica of an 18th century home in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, actually where I filmed my first movie, a movie called The Village, over 20 years ago. Something that was very important to preserve was actually the wood on the ceiling and the floor. It's very unique. The wood is over 90 years old and it is very important to preserve it. It's one of the only houses with this kind of wood left intact. And so in a way, the choices that were made in this room was to showcase that wood and really celebrate the character of the house. The curtains, they're Morris & Co. and it's actually called The Strawberry Thief. And if you look closely, you can see that there, there are strawberries being stolen. <laughs> But we're okay with that. Pretty much everything in this room is by Rejuvenation, which is a company I love so much. This is my favorite chair on planet Earth, and I'm gonna demonstrate what's so great about this chair. <laughs> I just think this is so comfy cozy. When we got the house, this was like one of the rooms that I fell in love with immediately, and there were already so many incredible qualities about it. The floors, this epic stove. I just found it to be so, 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 so beautiful. We added this island here and these bistro chairs, they're from Serena and Lily. They're sort of, you know, they bring kind of like a Parisian vibe to the entire room. As you can see over here, there is a ton of depression wear everywhere in this house. This all belonged to my grandmother, my dad's mom, and she collected this depression wear. And, and I actually I had it for years and years and years hidden behind doors and cabinets and whatnot. And the moment that Claire Thomas saw this, she was like, oh my gosh, this is the inspiration for the entire house. So that's really beautiful. I also, I should say that I love this sink. You shouldn't look inside of it, but it is so deep. I will demonstrate it with my hand. So that's, I'm now at the bottom of the sink. So it's a very deep sink, which is fantastic because you can put a lot of dishes in there and you don't have to deal with it until it's peeking out of the top. Don't tell my kids I said that because I would never let them get away with that, but <laughs> definitely a selling point. This is the dining room, which can also be called the sunroom. I love this room. We actually, we built this room. We added it onto the house when we first moved in here. You can see here the original, you know, stone exterior of the home. It's a detail that I absolutely adore. When Claire was designing the house, I don't know why, but I, I just kept being really obsessed with sense and sensibility. And we were just, you know, leaning way into Jane Austen world. And so there's a kind of like light antique quality that existed in all of the adaptations of her books. And so there's something just about this room in particular that reminds me a lot of sense and sensibility. This table here is a table that's been in my family for a long time and it's great because it's big and I have a big giant family. This is a lovely tablecloth that was custom made and just a little, a little detail here. Tulips, my husband and I fell in love in Amsterdam and so there's always kind of like a tulip motif happening <laughs> in, in our life. Something to mention here, Morris & Co. again. And these, these drapes are actually very special. They're called Willow Bow. And as you can see, they're embroidered. But it's this idea of bringing nature inside of the home. And this is a mint green after green depression wear that my grandmother gave to me. There's so much of it and it's absolutely so beautiful. There's a piano. It's my family's piano. 
They've made a point of telling me that I do not own the piano, that I am just borrowing the piano. But this is a piano that I took lessons on when I was a kid and everything. And so it's great to have it here. This is the office. We actually used this room primarily as a classroom during the pandemic. And since then it is my office. Most of the furniture is from Denver Modern, another fantastic company, heirloom quality furniture, American made. One of my favorite filmmakers is Wes Anderson and he has such a signature style. So this room in particular is very Wes Anderson inspired. You know, there are vignettes and tableaus and you know, all of that kind of everywhere. There's a kind of playfulness about his, his filmmaking and his visuals that I really wanted to embrace, and yet it's also incredibly sophisticated. This is the wallpaper. The colors here, this kind of like dusty rose, I just found to be really beautiful. It's bringing nature inside, and it's really reminiscent of that kind of 18th century kind of powder color palette. The paint colors, again, it's that pink and mint green. It's from Claire Paints, but the actual name of the paints, the pink is called Meet Cute, because this is a rom-com that's happening right here. And the mint green is actually called Two Scoops. So, you know, it's adorable, absolutely adorable. Welcome to the primary suite. This room I adore. It feels like joyful springtime. And there's a reason why it feels joyful. It's because all the furniture in this room is from Joybird, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite companies. I work out of my room 100% of the time, <laughs> pretty much. I feel very cozy, very focused, and I just, for whatever reason, the vortex that is my room is ideal for work. And so what that means is that I need a place to work. I don't love desks, but I do love giant, giant chairs. And this is called the Bryant Chair and a Half. I curl up on this and spend the entire day here. It's really an amazing chair. When I originally moved in here, we actually, we put a sofa in this room, but it was kind of overwhelming the room. It, it wasn't really right. And so this bench was bought for $100 in auction in Hudson Valley. It was just a fantastic solution because, you know, I can, as you can see, I kind of use it to, you know, where I put my art books and, you know, some pottery and all of that. But when folks come into the room, I can easily set these things aside and there's plenty of seating area. This is a limited edition print from a Polish American artist named Maja, who's based out of Los Angeles. And I just, you know, I found it really gorgeous. Oh, Grandma Jean, Grandma Jean. Okay, so this is the most important person. <laughs> this is my grandmother. My grandma Jean, my dad's mom, she was an actress and absolutely a total ham. She was very hilarious. And so much of this house is, you know, has really been inspired by her. And so the house is pink and green, thanks to her. This is the guest room. It's cold. <laughs> I'm gonna legit light a fire. I love this room because you know it is it is a place that I love to go and like hang out, light a fire, but because it's not the living room, I can shut the door. There we go. This will heat up really soon. Something that that we did with this room was we really repurposed and kind of zhuzhed a lot of our vintage pieces that we had gotten from rubbish interiors in Los Angeles. This desk we've had for, gosh, almost 20 years. We've had this lamp forever. We love this color green. And so it really inspired this Morris & Co wallpaper. Like when we saw this wallpaper, we were like, oh my gosh, we know what room that wallpaper is going in. The bedding. Okay, this bedding is from Parachute Home and it's called the Cloud Duvet feels like a cloud. My husband has a very serious record collection. Here's a nice old record player here, and here are his records. And we hardly ever see him when he's in this room. So this, Claire also got on an auction, and, and when you're bidding at an auction, 
you know, they give you they give you a sense of the size, but maybe it's an estimation. Maybe you're not actually reading it, but this is meant to be a vase for flowers. It's actually an umbrella holder, but it's super cool. Super, super cool and works perfectly for flowers. So this little vase is an, um, another uh, tremendous example of scale. And when you bid for things online, you might not have a sense of the size. And so this uh, we thought was gonna be, you know, size of a, a, a regular vase. And it's a little itty bitty baby vase and I love it. So we've got the very big asparagus umbrella holder that holds flowers and we have the very mini little and a Grecian vase. We misassessed <laughs> and we love it. This is my daughter's room. My daughter's favorite color is blue. So this room is blue. This here, we actually had this built for her so that she could have you know, a desk in her room because it's not a super giant space. And there's a radiator under there. And so she gets to keep her legs very warm while she's doing her homework and whatnot. My grandmother made this for me. She used to sew a lot and she would make dolls for me and kind of my Halloween costumes and all of that. And there are reminders of her everywhere. This is the guest house. This used to be an attic. And when I first came and looked at the house, it's actually above our garage. And I remember seeing this window and just thinking like, huh, if there's a window, then there must be some space up there. And so sure enough, we, we came up here and there's you know very, very low ceilings, admittedly, but it was very obvious that this could be a usable space. My husband's grandmother absolutely loved yellow. We would always, like for her you know birthdays and Hanukkah and everything, we would always get her something that was yellow. And so you know this space is, is an ode to her. Parachute Home makes such great bedding, but they also have come out with a furniture line. And so we've got this piece here, white oak coffee table. It's really nice, it really completes the space. I love to sit here. I love this little alcove. It's just the best. And I get to look out and, you know, do my laptop and watch my neighbors walk by. It's great, it's a great community. Bye, AD. Thank you so much for coming. I'll see you next time. <laughs>